Hey everyone, this is Julia from Crocoblog and in this tutorial, you will find out how to set suggestions for a search for the WooCommerce website. If you are new to our channel, please make sure you are subscribed and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Besides, if you want to see more useful tutorials, like this video and leave your comments down below. So, using the search suggestions functionality, you can place the search suggestion widget on the WooCommerce website. The widget outputs a standard search form. When you start entering text in the search field, the widget will look for matching search queries in the database on this website and display a list of queries containing the entered text. If you missed it, there is a detailed search suggestions feature overview available on our channel. Don't hesitate to check it out to know more about the settings and how to set everything up. Search suggestions is in general quite a helpful and unique feature that helps users to pick an appropriate term which will show them good results rather than making up a query that might have no results or just poor ones. In addition, it will also decrease interaction cost because users can type less, avoid typos, and use less mental effort to search. What's so cool about this feature is that you can add the suggestion manually and set up its weight so it is recommended more to the user. But how can the search suggestions feature be beneficial specifically for WooCommerce websites? As I already mentioned, suggestions can be entered either by the admin manually or whenever a user types anything into the search bar, the suggestion is added to the database automatically and it can be adjusted later in the dashboard. That leads to the key point of this feature. Whenever you put a search suggestions widget on the website and the people start searching, you already have access to the analytics of the searched words. It gives you complete information on every word and phrase that was entered and how often each word was searched for. Now let's try setting the search suggestions for the WooCommerce website. First of all, I will show you how to add suggestions manually. Go to the WordPress dashboard, Crocoblock, Jet Plugins Settings, Jet Search, Suggestions. The Suggestions dashboard displays the search queries list formed from previously entered real search queries or those manually entered by the site admin. To add suggestions manually, just hit the Add New button at the top of the page. So, each suggestion can have a one parent. If the entered suggestion has a parent, then this parent item will supersede that suggestion and the sorting will be performed considering the parent weight. This logic is responsible for typing errors. For example, there is Ulysses' suggestion, which is a famous novel, and also a couple of suggestions with the typos. So, what I can do here to help the user get the proper search suggestion is to assign the correct title as the parent of the suggestions with the typos. Now, if the user starts typing a title with the typo, and they will be shown the parent suggestion with the correct one. Let me enter a new suggestion and leave the parent field empty. Once you push the Add New button, it will be displayed in the list. The type right here shows that it's an unassigned suggestion. I will hit the Add New button again and add the misspelled name. As the parent, I pick the correct suggestion from the drop-down menu. 
the new suggestion is also shown in the list now with the child suggestion type since I added a parent to it. The suggestion with the correct title in turn obtained the parent suggestion type because the child was assigned to it. So you can add as many parent and child suggestions as you need. Before we move on to the next part, I'd like to mention one more thing. Search suggestions feature allows you to adjust the suggestion weight. In general, weight means how many times an exact phrase or word was searched for once. If a user enters the suggestion one more time, the weight of the suggestion in the database will increase by one. If the user enters a unique search phrase and submits the form, this phrase will be added to the suggestion base with the weight of 1. So, you can see the list of suggestions I already have, and right now I will try entering a unique phrase on the front end. Ok, I will get back to the dashboard and refresh this page. A new suggestion appeared in the list with a weight of 1. And if I search for the same phrase one more time, its weight will show a number 2 now. The great thing about the weight is that you can provide a user with a drop-down list of suggestions that has a specific order, thus promoting certain products that will appear on top of the list. Let me quickly add a new suggestion, let's say the Lord of the Rings. So there are three books, and I want people to pay more attention to the last book that was published. In this case, I will distribute weight like this. The first book has the smallest number and the last one, the biggest. And this is how it's gonna look on the front end. I have three suggested books now and the last published book is placed on top of the list. Now, once you added some suggestions, it's time to add the search suggestions widget. It can be added to a page, for example, homepage, or let's say a header. Here is the one I created with the Jetheme Core plugin. Now, simply drag and drop the search suggestions widget to the Elementor editing page. The widget's content settings are divided into two sections, Search Form and WooCommerce, if the WooCommerce plugin is installed and activated. The Search Form section includes the following settings. Placeholder text. Here you can add a placeholder text for the search field. Then Show Preloader. It shows or hides the loading animation before offering suggestions. If the option is enabled, a drop-down with a preloader will appear as soon as users start entering a search query and will be replaced by a list of suggestions afterward. Highlight searched text allows you whether or not to highlight the entered text in the list of found suggestions. Number of suggestions allows setting the maximum number of suggestions displayed in the drop-down. The next two options let you show or hide the search button and also add or remove the submit button label and icon. Show categories list. It shows or hides the category selector, and this selector is not related to suggestions at the moment. 
Using it, users can select a category where the search will be performed later. The following one, Taxonomy Toggle. It turns on the drop-down menu for choosing which taxonomy terms will be shown in the category selector. And in the Select Placeholder, you can enter the placeholder text for the category selector. Now let's take a closer look at the following settings. Show suggestions below search form. It shows or hides the list of suggested search queries below the search form. Clicking on a suggestion in the list works similarly to selecting this suggestion in the form. In both cases, users will be redirected to the search page with the selected suggestion as a search query. If enabled, this toggle turns on the following options. Suggestions list drop-down menu allows setting where to get the suggestions for this list. From the most popular search queries on the site, from the latest search queries, or manual input. With manual input, you will need to enter a list of search queries separated by commas. This list is not directly related to the suggestions database. When you click on this suggestions, the processing will occur as with a regular search query, meaning if it's already in the database, its weight will be increased by 1. It will be added to the suggestions database with a weight of 1. Number of suggestions here you can enter the maximum number of the most popular or latest suggestions you want to show. The last ones in this section. Show suggestions on input focus toggle allows you to determine whether to display or not a list of recommended suggestions when clicking on the search field. If enabled, this toggle turns on the following options. Suggestions a list drop-down menu is configured similarly to the same option for the show suggestions below search form. The selected manual option enables the list of manual suggestions, a field for entering a list of manual suggestions. The number of suggestions field lets you type the maximum number of the most popular or latest suggestions. Okay, we're done with this part of the settings and there is also one more section, WooCommerce. There is just one toggle that says Ease Product Search. Enabling this toggle sets the WooCommerce product archive as the source for the list of suggestions. The search will proceed according to the entered query and the search form settings. Be aware that if you don't have the WooCommerce plugin installed on your website, you will not be able to see it as well as activate the toggle. Now we're done with the settings. Just feel free to adjust the form so it matches your needs. And if you want to know more, please check our search suggestions overview video. The link will be available in the description down below. Style settings of the search suggestions widget are not so different from the regular search one. The presented sections contain search form, input field, submit button, inline area, and a focus area settings to customize every widget component. So once you're done styling, click the Update button and proceed to the front end. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope I showed you the true power of the search suggestions functionality, as it not only helps users choose the most appropriate search phrase depending on the search query options already used on this site or preset ones, but it also can be quite handy for WooCommerce websites, allowing you to get the full information on the total number of the searched words 
and what are the popular searched products are. Guys, don't forget to check the links in the description box and share your thoughts in the comments down below. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and of course, make sure you are subscribed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.